Um, speaking of health insurance, Fred from Khan College has uh, done me a favor, and he sent us an email about a 2012, a 2012 uh, appearance I made on the Peter Schiff show. Do you remember this, Michael? You? I don't think I was here yet. So Peter Schiff, uh, you know, at that time he was, he was hailed as somebody who had seen the, uh, the, the crash coming. And I think he did, maybe. I've seen, like, uh, disputes on that. But, but whatever. Um, people then assumed that he knew what he was talking about, about everything. And it turns out he knew what he was talking about, about nothing. His brother called into the show a couple of times. Uh, real libertarians, uh, in other words, don't know what they're talking about. And Peter Schiff and I had a debate on the uh, Affordable Care Act's requirement that insurance companies provide health, uh, birth control uh, for free. And here is Peter and I uh, going back and forth on this. And uh, Fred from Conn College uh, did me a solid and looked up uh, some of the predictions that were made here. Okay, let's play. I well, don't do it. Sam, this is what's going to happen. And I will make a bet with you if you want to bet me money. I will bet if this thing goes through a few <laughs> years from now, we will see. A ho- Hold on. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. We're going to see more unwanted pregnancies because people are going to be irresponsible with the pill because the people who don't have birth control now, it's not because they can't afford it. It's because they're probably too irresponsible to buy it. But we're going to have more. We're going to have more unwanted pregnancies. We're going to have more. Hold on. We're going to have more STDs because fewer people will use condoms. And we're going to see a huge increase in the cost of all contraception and all insurance. That's what's going to happen. Well, I think we're going to see a huge increase in the cost of insurance because uh, just we have we have runaway medical costs in this country. Uh, but um, I, I, you know, as to everything else you're saying, uh, there's absolutely no data to support what you're saying. So I mean, it may well. Sound there, there's a lot of data. <laughs> And you weren't even aware of these studies uh, that show that it actually decreases costs for employers. It decreases costs for insurers. Are you talking and- about providing it for free? No copay, no deductible, absolutely free? Exactly. <laughs> so you get all the birth control you want. It costs you nothing. People can, can look it up. It's uh, the study by the National Business group, a group on Health. It was out in 2000. I think there was a report yeah. out by uh, the Goodmacher Institute that came out uh, in, uh, I think it was last year, mm-hmm. that showed the mm-hmm. same thing. I mean, look, we do have problems with health care. I'll agree with you that we have a patent system and a market exclusivity for these corporations that make farm, uh, pharmaceutical prod, uh, products that, is, uh, that benefits these companies, and I would love to see a rollback of that. Uh, I think there are other well, ways. Well, what we to- need is a rollback of the FDA. That's what makes it so expensive to develop these products. It's the FDA that drives up the cost. And you're right. We have runaway health care costs because the government has taken competition out of health care, just like they're taking it now out of, out of uh, birth control. The biggest winners from this bill are the manufacturers of birth control devices. That's who's going to make a fortune because now there's going to be huge demand. Well, In fact, there's going to be cottage winners, industries. That big winners out of this are also uh, – uh, uh, women who are faced with, you know, closer to nine hundred to a thousand dollars a year of of cost, they're gonna we're gonna see uh, health improvements uh, with these women. But they're not gonna, gonna, gonna get see, that for uh, free. They're not gonna All get. Right, pause it. Good. Okay. So uh, he wanted to bet me. I guess I should have taken that bet because he said in a few years there'll be more unwanted pregnancies because people will be irresponsible with the pill. All right. Well, according to the Guttmacher Institute in twenty sixteen. Um, Unintended pregnancies were at a 30-year low. That was two years into the um, uh, Affordable Care Act's uh, requirements regarding uh, um, uh, providing of birth control. Uh, He also said there are going to be more STDs because fewer people will use condoms. Well, um, the SDI, STD, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the SDI rate has increased... But for the last few decades, the uh, prevalence of uh, these um, uh, it transmitted infections, sexually transmitted infections, has also uh, gone up. So the rate of the rate of increase has not gone up. Uh, some people point to dating apps as a possible cause, um, <clears throat> but men's condom yeah, use is also on the rise as of last year. So it could also be that people are more sensitive to things like HPV uh, yeah. and are reporting those. Yeah, the, people are getting more health a question care, right? of male cuck behavior versus. 
Uh, the cost of contraception with the co- uh, with the Trump administration ending affordable contraception in 2017, there was no notable increase in cost. Uh, I, uh, and so I did love that. It's just a great classic. Like, like you're wrong. You're wrong. Right. Markets, just, you're classic. wrong. You're cl- a classic. And you do. Like, I should have. I should have him. He's very should, wealthy. You should have known the the cam draft would have been perfect for that. Because Sam, Sam actually was doing. You mad? You uh, mad? I like. I like <laughs> the thing where you're being laughed at, and so you say, "Hold on." Like, hold on with your laugh. Ha ha ha! Like, until hold I, on, <laughs> sir. Before you continue to laugh at my fact-free tantrum, I would like to interject more fact-free tantrum. There you go. So uh, thank you, uh, Fred, at uh, Con College. And um, uh, Peter, I know I didn't bet you, but uh, if you were a cool guy, you would still send me like, I don't know, what would we have bet? Probably $5,000? Yeah. Probably five no, no, Probably no, five, no. five, five to ten. Ten, ten. Oh, back then, I probably would have bet like $25,000. Right. But I mean, look. You were flush. I'm just saying. I'm just uh, saying. You, if you really want to be um, the bigger man here, send me even more than what we would have bet just to show me how what a bigger man you are i like i, like, I do like that logic though like i'm in the pill now let's <laughs> std sweat who cares i'm gonna get loose like, i'm gonna I've get never, loose with I my know. it was like just because you got like if someone, you don't pay really like, for the birth control then you just get all sloppy with it right right well, birth control whatever i can get more I mean, of this where this came from could birth. it be his argument that maybe people who can't afford birth control or couldn't afford birth control before are like sloppy and because they're poor and like they suck i don't know i'm trying to follow a logic that doesn't exist no there is no logic there it's just sort of like it's just a i don't know